here we are once again. And uh, I've been uh, struggling to get a direction. Overall, the thought process I have has been expressed. What thought process? Weight loss and success. And I have no doubt in my own mind that the power of food is so immense that most of the people that I talk to are awed by that power. And when I question people, the answers that I get in the main suggest a sense of powerlessness, of helplessness, and similar kinds of feelings of not being able to address. And the more that I think about it, the more I come back to something that we have touched on many times. A brilliant physician and psychoanalyst, his name was Sigmund Freud, said that basic personality and character are developed during the first five years of life. When I thought about it, it says that my basic personality and character is a child who lives inside me. And because of the holiday season, I've had an opportunity to observe children from ages three, four, and up through the teen years. And one of the things that clearly came through to me was the fact that consequences of behavior are not understood at age five. And for some of us, consequences of our behavior are never fully understood and certainly often not appreciated. I had another thought as well when this was coming through, and that is nothing is free. Everything has a price, and consequences and price seem to fit in very well together. We are here together to talk about weight loss. And there are many weight loss programs out there. All of them have a structure with regard to food intake. And to one degree or another, they all work. Why are they different? Why are there so many automobile manufacturers, so many models, so many colors? Because all of us have different opinions, have different needs, have different appreciation of things, have likes, have dislikes. And what I've 
discovered in the young people is there is also a uh, a sense of ownership in their own behavior it's my behavior it's mine i identify with my behavior and i'm going to stick with my behavior because it says who I am. Now, there are lots of truths in what I just said, but it really doesn't say anything about reality, what consequences are, how costs impact on me. And so I come back time and time again to the fact that there is a young boy his name is Charles he lives inside me he's only five years old and what I know about him is that he wants what he wants when he wants it and when he wants it he doesn't want to hear anything else other than okay. If I try to rationalize with him, he has some kind of emotional reaction which distances me from him, and he is a separate entity in my world because. The guy who's talking to you right now does not see himself as a boy or as a teenager. The thought then is that if I have two identities and both of them operate within me, unless those two identities have some way of coming together, it's going to cause confusion, chaos, upset, and all of that is not very good for me because the boy who lives inside me is only a little boy. And I live in the present. You live in the present. You have a child within you. And that child wants what it wants when it wants it. And has zero capacity for understanding consequences. So you can't argue with that child. Because on one level or another, unless you're extremely punitive, and that would mean being self-punitive, you're going to have to really punish yourself to end up getting what it is that you want in the real world today. And I can remember saying oftentimes, after people have strayed on the program, the remorse and the guilt and the upset and the shame that they feel because they embarrass themselves by doing something that is not good for them and it makes them feel terrible. Now, with all of that being said, I can get depressed because this battle has been going on most of my life, or I can decide to deal with it in a different way. And that's what I want you to look at. Your own resistance, your own stubbornness, your own fear, your own concern, and the fact that you do things again and again 
that make you feel terrible, and then you feel terrible out about yourself because you feel terrible because of your own behavior. Here's what I want to leave as a message. I have gotten very few responses to my asking you to discuss with you how to resolve this. The answers are there. The answers are not complicated. What becomes important is you making yourself important enough to give a few minutes on a regular basis to dealing with this to change your life and make yourself happier. How do we deal with it? It's very simple. Try this. My email address is drs Dr. S at AccuWeight.com. DRS at AccuWeight.com. Send me any email whatsoever. One as short as two, three, four seconds. Do that to open the door. If you open the, the door, I will respond. And let's decide together how we grow from there. Thank you.